All right, so I wanted to show the steps of, of how to replace this actual drive belt. Okay, so over time, as you continue, continue to trim this belt, there will come a point in time when um, it gets short enough to where you're like, okay, I need to replace the actual drive belt rather than just trimming it. Each K-Box comes with, with one uh, spare drive belt. So you wanna make sure to hang on to that whenever you get your unit. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this center pin out. Okay, so um, again, it's if you look at the center pin here, or excuse me, the center opening, you'll realize that there's, a, there's one side that the drive belt is folded over the center pin. You wanna make sure that you push through the opposite side. Okay, so this is the Allen wrench. This comes with each unit. Um, you can really use anything that's skinny enough to fit through the center opening. So again, rather than pushing through the center, I'm gonna go to one side or the other. Okay, I'm gonna put that Allen wrench in there. I'm gonna push through. That center pin should pop out. I'm gonna grab it there. Again, make sure you hang on to this. Um, we don't wanna lose that. So the next step is I'm going to pull the dry belt out from the center opening. And the next thing that I wanna do is I want to feed this drive belt uh, all the way back through until I have just a little bit hanging out. Okay, just like that. And from here, I'm gonna flip the K-Box upside down. Okay, so once you have the K-Box flipped over, the next step is to uh, feed the remaining uh, end of this drive belt through the belt bite here, okay? so. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt this up just slightly, okay? And I wanna be sure I'm gonna grab it here, the drive belt, and I wanna be sure that I don't let this go because there's still some tension here on this spring, okay? So I tilt it up, I'm gonna push through, let that feed through, and again, I'm gonna hang on to this drive belt. I don't wanna let this go as there's still some tension here on this spring. So again, there's the red stitching. You'll see we'll get to a point where there's just a hook here. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're going to unhook the end of the drive belt that we're replacing. Okay, I'm gonna remove that here. And then this, the drive belt, obviously this would be trash. Again, make sure you hang on to this, okay? Don't let this go because if you do, the tension on this spring will wind up. Um, a good way, just to make sure they don't let it go, uh, you can just hook it anywhere here on the platform, okay? So I have the spare drive belt that each unit, each K-Box comes with. Um, the one end of the drive belt will have the loop there, just like this. That's how you know this side will go onto this hook, okay? So I'm gonna grab this hook again. I'm going to hook on the new drive belt, okay? And what I wanna make sure to do here is, is I'm not gonna just let this go and let it wind up, because that can cause a mess, but I'm going to just kinda guide this with my hands a little bit. Okay, so you can see it's all wound up there. Just make sure that that feeds in straight. Again, make sure to hang on to this edge of the drive belt. Okay, I'm gonna feed this through here. So I'm gonna make sure to hold that. I'm going to, again, tilt this up here. Okay, I'm gonna push that button or that, that belt bite button and see if I can get this fed through the one end. Okay, so grab it, pull a decent amount through. You let that button go, okay? And we can flip it right side up. Next thing we wanna make sure we do is, is put on this pulley block, okay? So as you can see with the, the rubber piece, we just wanna make sure that we, we feed this on correctly. Okay, so I'm gonna take the, the loose end of the dry belt, make sure that this is straight, okay, so you don't have any twists. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed it between that rubber and the wheel, okay? And then I'm also going to feed that underneath the, the bottom side of the clasp and the wheel, okay? So from here, when I pull it through, it should look like this. The last step is again, make sure you go between that rubber piece and the wheel, okay? So it should look like this once it's finished. Last thing we have to do is just reattach the center pin there, okay? So again, there's gonna be a, a wider side and, uh, sorry, a wider side and a narrower side here. I'm gonna make sure that we feed this, this belt. First, it goes through the narrower side 
and then it will come out of the wider opening, okay? So last step, I have my center pin here. I'm going to just feed a little bit of that drive belt, or excuse me, just fold a little bit of that drive belt over there. So again, maybe about a thumbnail uh, height, uh, amount of, of the, the belt just, just fold it over there. Last thing I gotta do, I'm just gonna push that through the center opening there. I'm gonna pull this tight just to make sure it's, it's, it's good in there and then it should be good.